is Tim Albright with AV Nation at ISE 2018 in the Milestone booth with Beth Peterson from Vadio. How are you? Thank you. I'm very well. How are you? Good. 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 Uh, you got you and I talked uh, about a month or so ago, uh, talking about a bunch of different things, talked about the Matrix mix, um, but a couple of things that you mentioned. We're, we're very exciting, okay. and you guys are showing that here. Yeah. One is the smart glass. Yes. Explain to somebody what the smart glass is. Okay, so we are launching the RoboShot IW here in at the end of February, and it's so it has two models. It has a clear glass and a smart glass option. So we had this product several years ago, two three years ago. We took it off the market, and people were clamoring for it back. Where is it? Where is it? It's architectural. It's for. Um, when you want to have a clear indication if the camera is on or off, and so we've used it in courtrooms, boardrooms, um, government institutions where you need to know precisely if it's on or off. So when you power the camera, the glass goes clear. And it's a full PTZ camera, so 10 times zoom. Um, it's a RoboShot camera, so high quality and yeah, we're excited to bring it back. And then when it's off, it, the, the, the glass is frosted. Frosted again. Yeah. Yep. Or you can have it without the smart glass option if that's not what you're interested in. And we've seen that in uh, medical areas where you need a clean room, and so you just wipe down the glass. There's no dust on the lens. And also, I think from a security perspective, if you can put them in K through 12 schools, no one's going to mess with the camera when it's behind glass. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. Speaking of, of education, you guys also came out with a dot cam. Yes. Ceiling Melon .cam. Yes, that's been like one of the biggest products here. Well, so and far. here's the thing. So I, I come from education. I was a former yeah. tech manager. The dot cams, when, when uh, like that, Ceiling Melon dot cams are incredibly uh, not just efficient, mm -hmm. but sometimes they're actually better than the than the, the desk mounted ones. Yeah. So we've had complaints for years that the desk mounted dot cams are cumbersome, they're in the way, in the field of view, and that the professors and the teachers have nowhere to put their stuff because the dot cam is in the way. And they were pulling together these cards. Someone was saying, my professors keep using the ADA cards. I'm like, you can't do that. Just get the camera off the table. And so with a 20 times optical zoom, and it's perfect for ceilings like 20 feet, um, you can get the whole table. So we've seen them in um, operating rooms where instead of having just a document, you can now, it should be more than a document camera, it should be like a table cam. Yeah. Yeah. And then zooming in, presets, uh, it's out of the way and it's had a great price point. And controllable also from other control systems. Yeah, we have one over here that we have on a trigger pad. So we have it through the IR sensor. If you walk under the IR sensor, the dot cam triggers on. When you walk away, it goes off back to your presentation. Or a little pod that you can put on the desk and you just uh, press the button and the dot cam goes on, goes off. So you can automate the presentation and make it really easy for the instructor. Yeah, which, which helps yeah. a lot because, you know, there are some instructors who are incredibly tech savvy and there are some or not. Some but. see a remote and go, woo! <laughs> so, I like a button. <laughs> Easy button. Easy yeah, button. Yeah, we'll show you that. Uh, are, are, are you also are showing the, the One Link yes. uh, Kodak kits. Yes. What is that? So we just started shipping the One Link Kodak kits two weeks ago and we're really excited about that because there's three things. You can, like always, extend a camera 100 meters, uh, 328 feet through a single category cable. You can also bridge a Kodak call with a soft client. So you've got a million Cisco Kodak rooms and sometimes they just sit there because someone wants to have a WebEx or a click meeting, go to meeting, Zoom. There's 250 soft clients out there and those Kodak rooms are closed off to them. So with the One Link Bridge, uh, you can connect that AV in the room with people that are remote. And okay. so you can share the audio and the video from the far and near end. And that uh, is exciting about that, but we recently released some firmware for our RoboShot cameras, where now you can control our RoboShot cameras, any RoboShot camera, uh, from a Cisco or a Polycom Kodak wow. through the Kodak controls. Okay. So now you can have uh, video cameras in your Kodak room um, operating just like a Cisco or a Polycom. That's incredible. Yeah, and through that's the touchpad. Firmware. Yep, so that's in the firmware, and that's something that you can uh, download off our website and then install on your cameras. Right, so, uh, if somebody is not here and they want to find out more information about Vadio, how do they, they do that? They go to vadio.com or follow us on social media. All right, very yeah. good. Beth Peterson from Vadio. My name is Tim Albright. For more information about us or get, getting all of our ISC videos, you can go to avnation.tv, avnation.tv.